Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about promises in JavaScript. Promises are basically ensures that the process data that we want to fetch from the server that we have requested through API, AJAX request or JSON call or we have fetched the data from database that takes some time to fetch the data and return it back to the caller. We ensure that it should return the exact and accurate and complete data before processing it further. So in this video, I'll be showing you with examples that how to use promises, what are the best practices of using promises and how to work with the local data or with the database data, with the uh, server data that we want to fetch. All right. So first, what I have, I have a script file in an empty project. So I'm going to be writing each and every JavaScript code in this file. All right. So I'm going to be using promise object. Uh, there are many ways that we can use promises uh, using uh, HTTP XML request, using JSON pass data. Uh, so I'll be talking about all those things, but mainly I'll be using promise constructor. Okay. So I'll write promise. This is a variable and I'm going to make an object of promise constructor. And it takes a function. The first parameter of function is resolve. Second parameter of function is reject. All right. And inside here, I can use resolve or reject both these parameter to return the data. So for now, I'll just write resolve 2 plus 2. All right. Uh, we can do anything. We can call, uh, make a call to server. We can make a call or request to database. But just to uh, show you, I'm just writing and returning uh, the calculation data. So with the promise variable, I can write dot then. And it takes function again with a parameter response and I'm going to console the result it's the promise all right so what it's gonna do is it's gonna wait until this promise constructor returns the data all right once it returns the data this then function will execute and that returned data will be in this response and that response data will be shown in the developers console so i'm gonna go and run it you can check out on the browser but i'm using webstorm i'm just straight away gonna run it so run script you can see that it has printed out four it's uh, pretty fast because i haven't make any server call that will actually take some time so it doesn't take any time to just calculate 2 plus 2 but I can write set time out to check if it's actually working all right and I'm gonna give it a time of two seconds and I'm gonna cut it and paste it right here all right now let's see if it waits for two seconds uh, before printing four so let's go to run run script yes so you can see that it has waited for two seconds and printed four now uh, the main purpose of promise is to handle the nested server calls like uh, we have fetched the data from server calls and after fetching the data uh, we want to uh, send that data to the database and we want then to database to uh, resp return the uh, result uh, whether it has been added or not and when that result will be back we want to process it further so there can be many further uh, nested uh, calls to server database and further local processing all right so how we can work with it uh, we can write more than one then statements like we can return response from here as well like uh, let's say we want to return response plus one all right and i 
after that I can write then right here and it takes function response all right and here I can console dot log response all right so what it's gonna do first it's gonna wait for two seconds before returning this data two plus two this data will come right here in the response all right and it will return the data 4 plus 1 5 and when it will return the data it will come to this then function and it will come to this response and then this response value will be printed sure so after two seconds it should print 5 right here so let's go and check out I'm gonna click on it so it's gonna wait for two seconds and it has printed 5 all right now let's change it a bit to work it uh, pretty uh, fine to follow the pra best practices of writing promises. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make different functions. So first I'm going to make function first result and it takes the response. All right and return response plus one. All right, I'm going to copy it and paste it two more times and change the name of its second result and change the name of last function, last result. All right, in the last result function, I'm going to console log this response. All right. And right now in here, I'm not going to using the functions, but I'm going to give the reference of these functions rather than adding functions directly inside then all right so i'm just going to remove it and i'm going to write first result and when this first result will return the data after processing on it i'm gonna call the second result all right so second result when the second result will process the data and return it i want to call the last result all right so last result all right so what it's doing right here it's taking the data from here and it's calling first result sending the response response uh, will take some time and will return 5 and then 5 will be given to the second result and the second result will add 1 again and then it will become 6 and that result will be given to the last result function right here and it will receive 6 in the response and it will log the result right here below so let's check out let's go to run run script so you can see that it has printed six after two seconds so this is the best practice uh, you need to separate each function what uh, it's uh, the benefit of separating the function is that we can use these functions uh, in many promises rather than adding directly uh, inside then functions it will only belong to this promise if i want to use the same functions in uh, another promise uh, I can also do it uh, let's first copy it and paste it and change it promise 2 and I'm gonna change it 1 plus 1 all right and then I'm gonna copy it and paste it right here and I'm gonna change it promise 2 dot then all right so you can see I'm using same functions for promise 2 and promise one all right so let's go promise two will first take the two one plus one two and the promise will take four so the first promise should print six and the second promise should print four because two plus two 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 plus one three three plus one four so let's go and run script dot js so it's taking two seconds it has printed six it has printed four so this is how we can separate functions and use those functions in different
promises so i would recommend you to separate the functions so what it's mean why i have added so many then statements all right it means let's say if i want to call a server all right let's say it is a server call all right and it uh, it might take some time it might take uh, 10 seconds a minute uh, five minutes and it will wait until that result comes back and when it will come back it will give that data to the second result all right and in the second result function i want to send that data to the database for the storage purpose all right and when it will store the data in the database i need to get the re uh, return statement to check if it actually added the data or not and it will return true or false and once it will return that response i can then call the last result function and can do uh, whatever i want i can print yes it has been added to the database so this is how we can nested each function uh, and use the promise in a best way so that was uh, the basic introduction using the local data now let's talk about if we have a json data if we want to call a server we want to call a database that takes some time i'm not gonna call any actual api but i'm gonna create uh, a json object right here in this file it can also be a api call uh, if you want to see you can call the api i'm gonna create a json file right here so i'm gonna write json underscore data equals to id one and name umair all right it can be so long if we want to fetch the data from the server uh, the json the json file is so big all right so i'm gonna give a call to this json data and try to print the id and name from that json data all right let's assume that it's getting uh, it's the json data that is uh, being resided in the server so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to make a new promise object all right using the promise constructor function resolve reject all right we can also use this parameter to check if there is an error or not but i'm not gonna doing it so in here i'm gonna call this json data using json.parse we can also do it with the uh, ajax call xml http request or the get or post call in any angular uh, javascript frameworks uh, so we can write and json data all right so it will pass that json data and it will return it but we want once that promise is done once that promise is fulfilled we want to resolve it all right so i'm gonna write resolve and add it inside the resolve function call all right now i can print the data that is being sent with this promise so i can write promise three dot then all right and i'm gonna write a function directly inside it but i would recommend you to separate the function all right and i'm gonna take the response from promise three all right and inside it i'm gonna console dot log id response dot id and name response dot name all right so what it's gonna do uh, we see that this result is being returned after two seconds but i haven't added any set timeout to this so this result will be printed first uh, unless i'm gonna call any external api to any server and it's gonna take 
uh, more than two seconds then these results will be printed first but right now I have this local JSON data all right if you want to call API you can directly call that API inside it okay so let's go and run it uh, it hasn't printed the data right here uh, let's see where we are wrong so I think that I have missed a double quotes right here after the ID all right now let's go and run it again so you can see that this data have been printed first and it has waited for two seconds and it has printed six and four all right now one thing that I want to show it let's change it to 1000 all right so it has called this data it will not wait uh, for this data to process uh, but it will keep on processing this data and will, it will come down and process this data all right so it will first print this then it will wait for this all right so let's go so you can see it has printed first it has printed four and it has printed six so you can see how we can work uh, with different things so effectively and uh, it's really helpful if you're working on large project and large project obviously contain api calls uh, database calls server calls with the uh, angular uh, with ajax calls and so many other things so i hope that you have liked it make sure to subscribe this channel if you haven't yet and like my video and comment below if you have any question and make sure you tuned up uh, and stay with me for more tutorials on JavaScript and Angular. Have a nice day and thanks for watching this video.